everyone, welcome back. I've got a bit of a strange video for you today. It's a bit of everything. Um, I've just got a few bits before Christmas that I wanted to show you. Um, so there's going to be a bit of a haul in this. I really wanted to do an outfit of the day because I was just in the mood to do one. So it's hard for me to do um, because I've got some unpacked boxes um, still in this room from when we moved house. And also all the Christmas presents have been dumped in my beauty room because it's the only place for them. Uh, but I really wanted to do an outfit of the day so I've got that in here as well and also I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my plans for 2016 on my channel um, so um, thank you very much to everyone subscribed who supported me all year I massively appreciate it, it means a great deal to me I've had my channel for um, over 18 months now um, and I still absolutely love it. I still plan to do it in 2016. In fact, one of my plans is to get a new camera. Um, I don't know if you already know this, but at the minute I film on my laptop, which does have a good HD quality, but the problem is it doesn't have a good lens. So just like on a phone, you can have the best quality in the world uh, for the camera, but the lens is no good, it's by the by. It makes it easy for me though, because I don't have to sort of upload my data from one place to another place to edit I just go straight to editing and it's all there already I just put it into Movie Maker and also I don't have that sort of problem where uh, the information corrupts or the camera overheats um, or you're not in shot um, and all of that jazz because I can actually, when I'm filming, I'm actually looking um, at the entire laptop screen as the viewfinder. So I really do like that and I consider just upgrading my laptop. But like I said, I've got the issue with the lens. So in 2016, I am fully intending on getting a new camera. Probably around the summertime, I'm going to ask one from my husband for my birthday. And it might not be possible depending on other financial commitments, but it's certainly a plan. Okay, so um, I've got this lovely necklace on from Accessorize and this little v-necked jumper which I love because it's a very flattering v-neck is from H&M underneath I've just got a little tank top from Primark and I'm just going to zoom you down so that I can show you my skirt so um, do excuse the Christmas presents and a few unpacked boxes guys this is why I don't really do outfits of the day um, but I really wanted to do it on this occasion and this skirt is from Warehouse so it's just a little um, tartan skirt and I've got some tights on um, probably from Primark or Superdrug, I'm not sure so that's my outfit Let's go day. straight into the um, other plans I've got for 2016 so up and coming videos are I plan to review in this summer um, quite a few fake tans um, not high end ones because I don't feel that I need to uh, get high end fake tans but or self tans as some people call them or faux tans as some people call them but that's what I intend to do especially because last summer a subscriber asked me to review the Marks and Spencer's tan oil which I still have half a bottle of and I wasn't able to do that and then it got into the winter months and I thought I'm really not going to be self tanning so um, I've said this before but I'm ever so sorry to whoever that was I haven't forgotten and it's on the top of the list for 2016 um, I'm also going to continue on with my regular empties but I'm also going to do a separate um, empties video so that people who aren't here for anything but beauty can choose not to watch and um, that's empties to specifically to do with my tea and coffee break times um, so it's a big part of my channel um, I know a lot of people put stuff in their channel to do with veganism, vegetarianism, and fitness etc and I really admire these people I think it, you know it's fantastic and each to their own but on the other side I want to keep things on my channel real and the reality is yes I do like to be healthy but I also like a treat just as much as a vegan is passionate about having their diet vegan I'm passionate about having treats in my diet um, and I'm not going to pretend that I don't eat them and that I live a healthy lifestyle and look at me and everyone should aspire to be like this and we all need to be healthier um, because genuinely I'm not like that and I don't think there's a right or wrong um, and I think that for a lot of people a lot of normal people um, you know we eat treats and we eat the stuff we shouldn't do and we enjoy that stuff so I'm gonna do an empty series dedicated to the things that me and my family have when we have our tea and coffee breaks or treat time you know if you're a child I don't give caffeine to my daughter um, so yeah I've already filmed and edited one ready to upload and um, I'm going to carry that on, see how people like it 
um, and it just saves as well things like candles, tea, coffee, oh what's that? I've been bruised and didn't know. Candles, tea, coffee, uh, all of that sort of um, biscuits and stuff like that being in regular beauty and empties tagged on the end because some people don't like to see that if they're clicking on empties standard empties on the beauty channel they expect just to see empties sometimes so I'm going to keep them separate um, but I am going to do that um, I'm also going to continue with my concealer um, drugstore under eye concealer review series so I think I've done about five so far but I've got over double that amount and I fully intend to review every single one of them um, to give them a fair review I want to make sure that I'm reviewing them before they other people they they conventionally expire I don't tend to throw my makeup away if it says 12 months and I have it for 18 I'm not going to cry about it but I think for, for, for the sake of fairness it needs to be reviewed whilst it's in date otherwise you know it could be said that the reason it's doing x y and z is because it's out of date potentially I'm also going to continue with Coffee Break with Kelly, which was when we talked about um, just topics. My last, the first and only one I've done so far, which is the last one I've done, is um, was about um, if you're having a bad day, and I got a really good response from it. And so I'm going to carry on with that. That will be the support side of me. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you probably know I've mentioned I'm in banking. That's what I do for a living. I work part-time because I'm also a part-time mum um, but I actually studied psychodynamic counselling which was nothing to do with with finance and it's massively within my nature to to uh, float towards that sort of thing and so I really want um, Coffee Break with Kelly to continue which should is go I'm going to try and create a little community with it I think some people do that really well on their channel there's a lady I work called Nikki Murphy and she has chats back and it's not to do necessarily just with support, she just rants in it, she raises issues, she gets people involved and passionate and talking and opinionated and getting all that. And, and mine's going to be, I think, heading is similar, similar to that, but, you know, my style. Um, I'm going to do a beauty room tour because it's been massively requested. I really, really want to do that. I just need to encourage my husband to unpack his last couple of boxes. I've got a couple of boxes to unpack, I can't blame it all on him and then get the Christmas presents out and then I'm going to do a beauty room tour. I'm also going to do a makeup collection video which again might be a mini series because all of this is makeup and um, down there I've got a load of makeup and I think if I did it in one video it would just be huge. Um, I want to do a skincare routine and it's been requested as well so that's going to get done. I want to do nail care routine, updated hair care routine um, and I'm going to change my background. I've got a few pieces of Edward Monkton artwork, but I need to find the appropriate frames for them um, because at the minute they're in a protective cellophane and it causes a flashback, so I've not put them in the background. And I'm also going to make a concerted effort to be tidy and general with my background because at the minute when I'm ready to film, I just film. I think about my makeup and I think about lighting, but I don't generally give a monkey's uncle about background and I think it would look a little bit better if I made more effort with my background rather than just sticking a Yankee candle on you know to actually have it tidy the problem is these brushes I suppose look a bit messy no matter which way you slice it and there's nowhere else really to put those um, and then I'm also going to continue with use up this year so I'm going to pan a palette and I'm going to do I've already got a box of makeup that I've selected to use up this year so yeah a lot of plans for this year and um, let me know what you think in the comments if you've got any um, rec uh, suggestions or requests for this year for videos please please do uh, let me know in the comments and I will add them to the list so that I don't forget if, the, if you have made a request I haven't already done and I've not just read it out the list please remind me as well in the comments because those are all the ones I can remember and I am going to move for moving forward I am going to write these um, comments down when the videos are requested so um, I'm just going to quickly show you this mini haul and it, I'm a bit sad to do this to be honest because I actually bought loads and loads of Christmas presents um, and then me and my husband just had a bit of a wrapping frenzy and I thought oh no I should have hauled them before but they're already wrapped now and it's too late but to be fair I didn't buy them out of my own money I bought them out of money that my um, relatives gave me to spend on my daughter to buy presents for her so I suppose it wouldn't have been fair really to haul them because it might people might take that as the fact I bought them if that makes sense so I suppose it's more honest I feel not to haul them the first thing I want to show you is when I went to the TK Maxx I really really want to get onto sulfate free shampoo 
Now I've used the Tresemme Naturals before and really got on well with that and that might be the one I have going forwards because I do want an affordable one but around Christmas time I wanted to treat myself because my hair needed re-dyeing which I have re-dyed and it's just I had a lot locked off the end last time it was cut which I was gutted about and I just really want to get it into the best condition I can and um, so it was $12.99 and um, I got the Argan Oil Ultimate Reform Shampoo by Theory, and it's for severely damaged unresponsive hair and this is um, free of sodium chloride, sulfate, phosphate and parabens so it smells divine, it's got a pump, obviously you get quite a lot, it's very thick and creamy oh it smells lovely, it reminds me of something oh god, that really takes me back I wish I could remember what that smell reminds me of oh gosh if I can think of it, which I don't think I'll be able to, but if I can uh, um, when I'm, by the time I'm finished editing then I'll put a caption around here but that smell massively reminds me of a smell that I've a scent that I've smelled before um, not the most exciting in the world um, but I got a couple of my favourite 100% pure cotton wool ra um, round pads from Superdrug but I've already opened one because it had to be um, I needed them I went into a new home bargain store we've got in our town, which is massive, um, much bigger than any home bargains I've been in before, and I noticed they had my favourite firm toothbrush by Wisdom for 79p for a pack of two, and it's really hard to find the firm version in standard shops, I usually get them from eBay and end up paying like two or uh, about three quid, including postage just for two and also they come in different colours and I want the one that's pink and, pink and purple so I went through the box and got every single one that's both pink and purple um, without any blue or green in um, and I, so I got five packs of the firm this is the best toothbrush of all time um, actually I'm going to add it to the list I'm going to do a dental care video because I often get questions about my teeth I don't whiten them I try and keep them as white as possible with day to day dental hygiene and um, I also got uh, advanced white whiter teeth in 14 days which is my holy grail toothpaste as well and that was 99p so I wanted to pick that up and then the last three bits were from Superdrug I've just realised I've put it back in here so I'm going to look for it Aha, here it is so I got, I really wanted to try this mascara which is Lash Sensational by Maybelline I've got so much hope invested in this and so much um, optimism about it that I got two because it was three for two um, I got the non waterproof and I got the one that's extra black um, so I got two of those the the things I've seen and heard about these I think they're going to be right up my alley and I do like Maybelline mascaras anyway and then I got free 975 Divine Wine which is in my festive makeup look for this year um, after I got it home and got it on, I felt disappointed that I hadn't gone for Siren in Scarlet I, because I think this is very similar to quite a few um, mattes I um, already own. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm a bit gutted that I went for that. I think Burgundy Blush, for example, um, I think that's quite a bit darker. Yeah and a bit more brown but very similar as you can see and I don't think I'll be wearing that much just because I love it and I have worn it a lot but I won't be wearing it like an, it's an everyday colour because it's like a really statement colour against my fair skin so I've just basically gone for another one of those and I've also got let's get this little thing out to show you I've also got some mattes from um, uh, Makeup Revolution, their pro range, mm -mm -mm. jewel matte, um, which is quite different. It's more red, yeah. I suppose that is quite different. Um, but I just don't think it's particularly unique because I've also got number thirty by Kate Ross Moss uh, Rimmel. Yeah, now that's more whiny. It's got more purple in. So when you swatch them next to each other, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better about the purchase because I don't think I've completely, sorry I'm not looking up guys, I'm just trying to find for you. Let's have a look at it next to Sangria. Well, this is not a matte, but I'll just swatch Milani Sangria as well. 
So, God, I know some people hate the smell of these fruity scented ones from Milani, but I love it. I love that scent. So I suppose when you look at it that way, that was the divine wine there. It is unique. Um, but I'm just wondering how much use I'll actually end up getting out of it when I think of the collection I already have, you know. So I wish now that I'd gone for the Siren in Scarlet, um, but I really am going to stop myself getting the Siren in Scarlet because as well as that jewel mat, ah uh, there it is, as well as that jewel mat that I've just um, swatched there for you, there's, there's this one that she's very, very similar called Propaganda. Uh, there it is. And so I can't justify when I've got these two and have barely worn them going out and getting Siren and Scarlet. So look at the mess I've made. So yes, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed um, the video today, guys. Um, if you want more outfits of the days, um, then let me know and I'll attempt to do them. I think I've only ever done it twice, but it, you know, it is fun and I do enjoy it. And um, I'm not sure when this is going to get uploaded, um, probably after Christmas and before New Year. So I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Take care, guys. Bye.